Thank you for the ammo. Okay. I think we need a bigger gun. Okay, lady, come stop. Thank you. I need a gun. <laughs> what did I just run into? A lot of guys, apparently. I'll take that. That's actually a better idea. There you go. <laughs> well, we're getting there. Yeah, at least. How much health does she have? <laughs> Magic salts through the wall. Yeah. This is gonna be a painful one. Um, boss fights. Yep. But at least it's putting us through our paces. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's try this. Okay, so her resurrection abilities hurt us. Yeah. Ow. I think it did some damage, though. Looks like it. Let's see. Let's see. It was a bit difficult to tell. I think we're getting there. I think the hand cannon's the way to go. Like it. Like it. Oh. But what is she? Alive or dead? Why do you ask what? When the delicious question is when. The only <laughs> difference between past and present is semantics. Lives, lived, will live. Dies, died, will die. If we could perceive time as it truly was. What reason would grammar professors have to get out of bed? Like us all, Lady Comstock exists across time. She is both alive and dead. She perceives being both. She finds this condition disagreeable. Perception without comprehension is a dangerous combination. Look! Footsteps! to unfinished business. We have to follow her. Convince her to open the gate to calm stuff else. Can't argue with that. Yeah. I just hope we don't have to fight her again. Let's see what's up there first because it could be something. 
be something that they missed. That was a crank gun. Uh, I don't think there's anything. Oh, log packs. That boss fight, though. Hmm. That was painful. I'll just say that. Yeah. It's a shame you have need of her to enter Comstock House. Frankly, she doesn't seem all that cooperative. There is a way to bring her to reason. Three truths you must discover first. Truths which, in this world, Comstock has destroyed. If only one of you had the power to alter time and space. That would be a blessing, wouldn't it? Hmm. Well, that's sarcastic. <laughs> that's putting it bluntly. There's something off about Lady Comstock. Yeah. I notice. No, you don't understand. She... she doesn't belong here. I brought something through. I'm just... I'm not so sure it was her. Oh, I think that was a terror in that house. <laughs> I know that place. That's Albert Fink's house. I... I love his music. I wonder if he's in there. Well, that was an interesting diversion. Yep. Music for another Patane PD. Didn't recognize that one, though. Mm -hmm. What a waste. How's the city going to come back from this? It's not. Maybe it shouldn't. I wonder how long this little revolution's been going on for. I don't know, because we have been jumping between dimensions yeah. while it was going. It's just that I remember it's like in one of the um, audio logs that you get if you actually listen. Uh, I think that Booker mentions that he decided to throw in with Fitzroy because they moved um, Elizabeth. But. To get the guns and to organize this amount of people to convince fire or to brainwash firemen or create their own, not to mention getting the handymen. Yeah. It must have been, it's got to have been at least months. Mm -hmm. I doubt the Vox had all of this on their own. I think mean, Fitzroy said that, you know, it's like he became a martyr for the people. Yeah. Which pretty much meant that they couldn't have done this without Booker. Yeah, uh, pretty much. So this is all our fault again. Yeah, looks like it. I think there's a lot of people there. What the fuck do you see? I have this. Although, why you couldn't have picked up yourself? I don't know why. Yeah, it's like, you can pick up stuff and toss it to us in the battle, but you can't do that? Yeah. This one open? On it. All done. Little test laboratory. Yep. Isn't it? It's a tear. Yep. 